Hey, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be your weekly oracle card reading for the 26th of January to the 1st of February. And this year has flown by so fast already. You know, we're already going to be looking at the 1st of February card <laughs> and to see what the 1st of the month of love has for us. <laughs> and I am recording this a little bit early, uh, only because I have a work the work schedule that I'm on, um, and then obligations that I have is going to leave a lot of limited time for me to be able to sit down and do this. And so I wanted to go ahead and make the time now while I'm off to um, really take the time and, and give you guys a really good reading. So I'm going to be using the Archangel Oracle cards by the one and only... Dorian Virgin. And let me just look down in there. And this is a really good deck because I feel like you don't have to really. Ooh, this card's already wanting to come out. Um, because you don't really need the the guidebook. Um, because the messages are on the cards. So you don't really need a lot of um practice to get to know these cards because you get to know it's like they're kind of like flash cards with the archangels on them so i just um ask that these cards be the right message for everybody and that we all experience positive and wonderful love and great vibes from it from this reading for this week so ooh, for monday and tuesday we have Brilliant Idea with Archangel Uriel. Um, Archangel Uriel is the angel of epiphany. The light bulb moment. If I move my head, <laughs> light bulb. <laughs> the, sorry, that was stupid. But um, basically, that's, that's what he does. And he helps you to stay positive and things like that. This says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So, you're going to have some really cool ideas Monday and Tuesday. Um, be careful to keep your thoughts on the highest possible vibration. So that way you get only good thoughts and heaven sent thoughts that you're able to act out through your free will. So, oh, this follows perfect. For the um, middle of the week, we have Archangel Haniel in Passion. It says, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So, Archangel Haniel is also the angel of intuition and psychic abilities. Um, she's the angel that I often call upon when I'm giving readings for someone. Or when I'm giving a reading for someone. This card really falls in perfect alignment with the first card. In the fact that I feel like the idea that we're going to have is going to be one that... Is going to be an old idea that we've had. That we, maybe we were really passionate about it one time. But we kind of let it fall by the wayside. And whether it was to, maybe I want to look for a new job. Or maybe you know I want to start dating more. Or trying this or trying that or trying this or trying that. You know this card is saying that the ideas you're going to be getting. In the first part of the week are going to be ideas you've already had and to follow those because they're divinely guided especially by Archangel Haniel so listen to your intuition in the middle of the week that's what they're saying about that one okay so for the weekend we have outdoors and this is Archangel Jophiel and it says go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So this is just an amazing week of ideas and breakthrough moments and those aha moments that you're going to really have a wonderful, wonderful week full of, if you've had any like psychic blocks or if you've had any blocks as far as like writer's block or creative block, you just can't, you can't really think the way that you need to, that's going to be gone this week because we start the week out with a brilliant idea or a resurgence of a brilliant idea 
with um, Archangel Uriel. And then that follows in, and I'm actually looking at the clock on my computer right now, and it says 444, which means that the angels are here, and they're all around me, and they're all around you right now, too. If you're watching this, I'm sending all kinds of angels to you right now, and they're there. So right now, just you're surrounded by angels. So... In the middle of the week, we're going to have a lot of passion about the new ideas that we've had. And we have to really follow through with those and use our intuition and listen to our intuition, which is our God-given gift to everybody. Everybody has it. And on the weekend, we're going to it's time to really go outside, to take a step outside. If it's too cold to go outside, kind of meditate inside and, you know, create through creative visualization, put yourself outside. And you'll be able to gain those ideas and those creative flows. And it's just amazing what you're going to accomplish. And I just, they just kind of showed me like a, huh, okay, like a, like a stained glass window. And the stained glass window is kind of a representation of where you're at right now and kind of, of a stagnant place. Not stagnant in a bad way, but some for some of you it might be. But stagnant as in you're kind of restless and you want something new to happen. So they kind of showed me like a baseball or softball kind of thing. Just kind of like throwing, being thrown through that stained glass window. And that stained glass window was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But, and where you are right now is beautiful. Even if you don't feel like it. But that... That idea that you have is going to be that ball that breaks that stained glass window and it has you just, it lets everything in. And you're going to have an amazing week. And I'm super excited about this because this is one of the best readings that I think we've ever had. And one of the only ones that I've seen 444 in the corner of my computer screen. So that's just amazing. So CM444 while I'm working with the lovely Archangels. So I want to thank Archangel Uriel, Archangel Haniel, and Archangel Joviel for showing up in today's reading um, with the lovely cards. This card deck is um, one of my favorites, and I actually use it on my phone quite a bit. So I highly recommend this deck if you're new to working with angels. Um, if you're new to oracle cards and you want to be able to get to know the angels and practice with you know, your intuition and oracle cards at the same time, this is an amazing deck to use. Um, I'm really, really excited about this week, guys. And if I can be of any help to you at all, please let me know on my Facebook page. Or you can email me or any way that you can get in contact with me. That's perfectly fine. Um... You guys are absolutely amazing, and we're going to have an amazing week full of wonderful and creative ideas, and it's going to change our lives. So with that being said, angel blessings to each and every one of you. I love you.